Yo, this is Dash, and uh, here we go. Today is uh, Tuesday, April 9th, 2013, and this will serve as the week 14 update to the 2013 Beer Growth Project. So, um, you know, shout out, and I wish I had your YouTube username. I'm going to put a link to your username and your channel up here. So, for whatever reason, I found this guy. He's also growing his beard out. Only problem is, He's unsure if he's gonna grow go for the year. If at all possible, do me a favor, go to his channel and leave him a comment basically saying go for the year. Alright, um I took your advice kind of. I haven't found the specific beard elixir that you were talking about, but I do have some I had some products that between my wife and my daughter they put in their hair and I have been uh, pretty consistently putting it in my beard and it feels a lot better. It feels a lot softer. It's not as uh, dry and I mean I know you can hear me you know, playing in it there but it doesn't make as much noise because it's not as dry. I am noticing it. There is a little more, a lot more sheen to my beard if you will and uh, that's pretty much it. So if you're new to the fold, you don't know, on the even weeks of these updates, what I do is I cut my hair, I trim my beard. So, I'll see y'all on the flip side. And I'm back. Alright, so uh, my hair looks extra shiny today, and that's uh, part because of the, um, the particular uh, hair product I've been putting in my, my beard. I mean, what the hey, I also put it in my, uh, in my hair. Um, it was actually that product that I used um, in one of the the videos, the video or videos or and or video responses that I with my uncle Calvin. Um, again, I have cut my hair and let's see, I trimmed the sides. I um I do work in corporate America and I kind of have to keep this looking as neat as possible, aside from the fact that um. My wife isn't as exactly the biggest fan of me having the beard, so I have to keep it looking uh, very nice. So because of that, I do have to keep the sides trim, and um, you know, so it doesn't look so woolly and puffy. And um, it's slimming. <laughs> All right. Oh, quick side note. I knew it was gonna happen, and it took until today to make it happen. So let me show you. Hopefully, you can see here. I cut myself. I told you guys before I use the uh, straight razor and um, it took 14 weeks to happen. I mean and I've, I've been trimming my beard with the razor at least once a week since probably week five or six. I don't know you probably saw the first video but nonetheless it has happened. and. Uh, that's gonna burn like the dickens in a couple minutes as soon as I wash my face. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, it happens. Uh, you know, the, the best thing that you can do is uh, be prepared for when it does happen. Make sure you, you know, you clean the wound. Yeah, so this is uh, a baby cut in, con uh, in comparison to some of the other cuts I've had in the past. And, um, there is a little bit of a uh, learning curve, it's a steep learning curve, if you will. So nonetheless, um, hey, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button up there. And, um, you know, let's keep this thing growing.